Hello. Today I'll start out by doing a jig again for coiling, but this time for making a corkscrew. I need to give a shout out once again to Gary Johnson for his latest very generous donation to my channel. And again, you can check him out at MightySharp.com. That's M-I-T-Y-S-H-A-R-P.com. Thanks very much. So this is a corkscrew that I made ages ago and that I'll try to replicate today. This fine piece is stainless steel. I don't recall which kind, but it's very stiff. So like a couple of videos ago, this setup is very rudimentary but it should give you a good starting point to make consistent coils. And unlike the previous video, that extra leg should make removing very easy. It doesn't coil tightly like I want, but it should work. Uh, this steel is very stiff and it just behaved a little bit differently than what I expected. I would do this again and go more slowly, maybe just taking a turn, removing, and then putting it back on, but this is the only piece of stainless steel I have in this size, so gotta make it work. the video. Not coiling this piece the way I originally wanted, I had to fidget around with this quite a bit. I decided to compress the coils together and then slightly reopen.
So I didn't originally intend this, but the way I've made this screw, it's for left-handed use. And you can see the one I've made previously is opposite and is for right-handed use. This won't be much of a problem for me because, believe it or not, I'm actually left-handed. Even though I swing a hammer right-handed, I write lefty and do a lot of operations left-handed, so it's not a problem. But left-handed people are very rare in Taiwan, and that has a lot to do with their writing system. So if I want to gift a corkscrew, I'll have to give the one that I made previously. I remember clamping that little stem and then twisting by the handle to secure this on the previous one, but I don't have such luck with this one and just kind of wrap it around 
uh, just via hand hammering. So oh, there it is. I'm sure you can do better, but this should at least give you some direction. Keep in mind the righty-lefty aspect and use a suitably hard steel for the screw. Catch you guys next time.